they're turning the 13 to 18 year olds into toddlers. I want my cinnamon toast crunch. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take some. Yeah, that stuff is good, right? Okay, well, high pressure is going to be a major factor in our weather the next couple of days. It's been centered over the Pacific Northwest, and yesterday that helped the temperature in Portland, Oregon, climb all the way up to 102. That's even hotter than what we're forecasting for Salt Lake City over the next couple of days. Uh, yesterday, though, a lot of valleys were in the 90s. In fact, it was 99 in St. George, so just shy of the century mark. Salt Lake, we hit 93, which was our average high for this time of year. And now we are going to start to warm up, even though we're not going to make it into record territory over the next couple of days. But we do have a very mild morning in Salt Lake, 68, a very cool one in Ely, 49, so about 20 degrees cooler than in the Salt Lake Valley. Mid-60s in Moab and Cedar City, and in St. George, it's currently 78. Now, with high pressure uh, building in just off to our west over Nevada, that's going to block that heavy smoke from the California wildfires from moving in, so it should be confined pretty far to our west, but we still have leftover smoke in the state of Utah, so that's going to continue to be a factor for some of you. It'll be fairly patchy and thin, a lot more so than the last couple of days, so air quality is improving. Otherwise, it'll be sunny and hotter with a high of 96 in Salt Lake City. Mid-80s in Park City, you'll make it all the way up to uh, 102 in Moab and St. George, so it'll feel like the last couple days. And besides uh, sunny with some smoke, which will be most concentrated over southeast Utah, we'll get a chance of some isolated mountain thunderstorms over the south that become a little more likely over the next couple of days. However, after a sunny, hot weekend, it looks like that wet weather becomes most likely early next week when more monsoonal moisture moves in, and that's going to be cooling us off. And for northern Utah, it's going to be a sunny, hot weekend. Uh, temperatures are going to be hovering in the upper 90s beginning tomorrow and all the way through Sunday. We'll drop into the 80s by next Tuesday and Wednesday when those showers and thunderstorms become a lot more likely. So we'll finally get some much-needed rain, or at least a good chance of that, Danny.